Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to RimWorld. All right, uh, we, we lost a little bit of time here on the uh, recording. I want to apologize about that. Uh, the turbines are now done. They're all putting out some power, which is excellent. Uh, in fact, one of them actually had a failure right after it got constructed, which was great. <laughs> so it had to be repaired immediately, which is not great. But, you know, it's, it's funny, right? We still have some starving animals over here. This is This is insane. We should not have any starving animals, but for some reason we do. I think once this hay grass grows, they'll be able to eat it. But we, we need kibble, man. We need to make kibble. So this hay grass, this hay grass needs to grow as soon as possible. Uh, this slag chunk can be uh, hauled, by the way. So what do we need to do to move on? We have, well, we have some compacted machinery up there. I think we need to work on some of our priorities. Because our place is absolutely filthy. And you can definitely tell that in the hospital, if nowhere else. Why is this area... Why does this area have no power? What's going on here? Oh, because I never fixed this conduit. Duh. You dumbass. Okay. But we need, some, we need some cleaning going on. So what don't we need? We don't need... I don't think we need Pepsi on research. Pepsi's not that even that good on research. The problem is... What else are you going to do? Crafting? Oh, you could do craft. Yeah, you could, because that means stone cutting. And you know what? D-Wright does it because he's good at it. Senpai doesn't need to do it anymore at all. Pepsi is interested in doing it. So you'll become skilled at it faster than Senpai would. So yes, let's have Pepsi do that. And artwork. Tailoring and smithing, I'm not going to put her on those. Because the quality of those matters, whereas the quality of stone blocks doesn't necessarily matter, nor does smelting. So, yeah, we're going to keep you off of those. No offense to you. And the research will still get done, but I think... I think I'm going to prioritize hauling and cleaning over research. The reason being, we're researching hospital beds right now, and it, it, it we need medicine before we can even use that. And before we can get that, we need drug production, and I also want to do brewing. There's a lot of stuff that I want to research, but it's very low priority on the list of things that have to be done. I mean, for a mood booster, I mean, I can make uh, freaking fine meals, and I can start making smoke leaf once this is uh, grown enough to harvest, which I'm going to need a place to do that. So the good news on that is that making smoke leaf is actually done at a crafting spot, and you can put this literally anywhere. I could put it right here. In fact, screw it, I will. There's our crafting spot. Anytime we need to craft something, we do it right here, which means that uh, smoke leaf, I believe as long as it's underneath something, it can be made. Or it can be, uh, it will last forever. That's what I'm trying to say. So I should be able to put it in here with no problem. Let's see, it's not a raw food, it's a raw resource. Plant matter, smoke leaf. Okay, it's already set to go in here. The hops did go disappear probably because they were in here as well, but that's not a big deal to me. Okay. Let's carry on. Carrying on. I really would like some kibble, but I suppose where we are right now is fine. Uh, Senpai failed catastrophically, catastrophically excuse me, while operating on the Scyther. That sucks. That probably means that we lost that part, but... Who cares? Oh, no. He failed, but he can still try to... Okay, he did actually destroy one of the parts. Which sucks. That's okay. We were just going to sell them anyway. Shut down the other one. It's a goner. Chunk of spacecraft has fallen. That is some free steel and... Well, not only free steel, but some free components. Maybe even some plasteel. Tactician named Emma Riadra. Riadra? I think it's Riadra. Emma Riadra. Being chased by the Grey Mesa people. Biologically, she was 52 years old. That's pretty old. Um, and I don't think we need to expand our colony as of right this second. Maybe if you were related to someone. Sorry about your genetic lottery, but you lost it. I'm... You might think I'm a jerk. And you're probably right. <laughs> uh, we can haul all of these marble chunks eventually. But we should get some cleaning done soon, I'm hoping. Cecil Kane is under a major risk break here. Observed a rotting corpse. Where? Where? And why wasn't it dealt with? Hmm. That's not good. The crematorium is on, so we should be able to deal with it. 
the we still have some animals that are starving there's i think there's one less starving than there was before though yes even one less now so this hay grass is getting eaten that's good and once this gets harvested you know what that means we're gonna have kibble for days especially since we still have plenty of meat what is this alpha beaver meat yeah yeah hey it's it's probably good you don't know Sation is idle so that means she needs stuff to mine also did this get harvested successfully it did shut them down and of course we can you know deconstruct them as well uh haul all of the these steel chunks that's places for our enemies to hide behind kind of not really but i want them gone and ooh, visitors uh they seem to have a few items to trade from policeman's ridge i don't remember how they how much they like us 22 that's cool uh who is our best at social i think it might be me at this point eight two uh, five three zero five and nada so yeah i am i'm hauling that's cool let's see still hauling yeah just keep hauling i'm fine with that if i want if i want to haul i'll haul i'm just waiting for them to get closer anyway all right they're just gonna walk themselves right in because of course they are all right before we rest let's trade with them let's see what they have would you like some scyther arms would that be something that would interest you? Good sir. Because we have plenty of them. They only have 138 silver. It makes sense. I mean, it's not like a full-blown trader coming in here. They just, they're just they just some people. But I'll buy all their medicine. Uh, what else can we buy? They have medicine. They have fine meals. I don't need your fine meals. They have a shoddy helmet and a, a good steel military helmet. For 300 though, I don't think I want it. I will sell you some of our crappy items, though. So here, take some of our garbage. I hope you, you're happy with that. If it's under 50%, I'm selling it. If it's over 50%, we still might wear it. So I'll keep it in the inventory, but this is gonna clear up a lot of storage space. All right, get rid of that. Uh, we'll keep our weapons. Will we keep all of these, though? Let's get rid of the survival rifle here. It's down to 51%. This pistol, too, because it's not even that good of a weapon. Get rid of these bows. We'll get rid of all the bows. I don't really need any of them. Especially especially if they're shoddy. Yeah, this, this'll this do. This'll do well. Uh, That is too much money. <laughs> he cannot afford to pay us, so I guess we'll keep the great bow and the survival rifle. That's still one too much. But you know what? You can have a, you can have a one silver deficit I, you, that's fine I, i'm doing right by your colony there by policeman's ridge you're gonna like us for that right policeman's ridge and fort ragamuffin we're like two peas in a pod you know we're practically the same thing don't don't you don't you don't have to go home and tell your leader that what, what's his name uh joshua marjo he doesn't need to know that is it marjo or marjot marholt whatever his name is you, you don't need to tell him that what, what are you what are you doing up here man don't do that while I'm looking at you on camera. It's creepy. <laughs> All right. That does... I mean, it woke up Pepsi, which I guess is good. Watching the sunrise. The visitors are leaving. That's all well and fine. Senpai is eating and cooking. A psychic ship. Large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. Your colonists can feel it in the back of their mind, exhorting unspeakable acts. It must have an onboard AI personality with psychic projection. And this AI is not friendly. Destroy it as soon as possible. Uh, and it also lit everything around it on fire. Ooh, this is a cruddy spot for it. How do we deal? If we had more shooters, I would feel better about it. But I think we can take on some people who aren't good at shooting. Um, like Sation. And give her frag grenades. These usually have some enemies in them, usually mechanoids. So do we have our EMPs? Give d the EMPs. Let's see if we can do this and take this out before the psychic projection drives us all insane. All right, we need me, Sation, d Pepsi. And it looks like that fire is going to burn itself out. Nothing to worry about there. All right, so where do we want to be? I'm thinking... I want to be behind this tree. Pepsi wants to be behind this marble. 
Sation wants to be behind here, and D Wright wants to be behind here. And God, I hope I'm right. Okay, first things first, Sation. Throw a grenade at it. Throw, throw a grenade. Throw. Why don't? Cannot hit target. Okay. Get closer. You have to have a clear shot at it. Cannot hit target. What, what do you mean you can't hit the target? Oh my gosh, you can only throw right next to you? Is your range... Is your skill your range? No, because d Ray can throw like a normal human being. Oh, it's because of your shield. Duh. Okay, go over here. I should... That, that was my bad. All right, drop the, drop the shield, and now we can throw. Now we can throw like a champion. Okay, throw that sucker there. There it goes. All right. Okay, here come the scythers. So we want to throw one here, and we want to throw the EMP like right here, if possible. Oh, he took some damage. Oh, you just stunned all three of them. Oh my god, what a champion. Oh my god, look at this. Do you have a shot, Pepsi? No, you don't. Move down. Uh, me, move up. Keep the stun going. Keep him stunned, son. Jason, try to throw to here if you can. He's no longer stunned. He's down. Oh my god, we did it. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Uh, d right. You're done. You can go heal. Don't stand in the middle of our way, you dummy! Ooh, his right radius was shattered. Oh, what does that do to him? What was his manipulation? So he's basically lost his right hand. Maybe we should replace it. If you get what I'm saying. Something to look at. Anyway, let's get rid of this damn thing so the psychic drone is over. Why are you eating in the middle of a battlefield, you... Ooh, an AI Persona core. Please don't tell me you accidentally destroyed the core. Station, you're undrafted. Thankfully not. A hyper-advanced computer core that houses a superhuman-like artificial intelligence. In its isolated state, the core is dormant. Installed in a proper support structure, however, it can become a mind of frightening power. 2,000 bucks, man. I mean, it's damaged, but still, sweet. And also a bunch of steel... Some silver, some slag, and the other Scyther's body was destroyed. That was my bad. And because it's dead, we can't actually do anything else with him. Okay, cool. Good job, team. That was amazing. That was amazing. I totally should have saved before I did that because I was stupid not to. Anyway, uh, operations. We have to set D-Ride up for some operations here. Because there's no point in not replacing his right hand because he can't use it at all. So his efficiency is 50%, which means anything we replace it with will be better. We don't want to euthanize him. Let's not do that. Uh, install a Scyther Blade on his right hand. <laughs> oh, we're evil. All right, D-Rite, uh, go ahead and rest until you're healed. I mean, it's not like you're healing your right hand, but your arm farther up is bleeding at a huge rate. So, <laughs> let's heal that up. One patient awaits medical operation. Station is idle. I don't want Station to do the surgery. Cecil's already on it, man. Cecil's like, I'm going to cut you up good. I'm going to cut you up good, sucker. <laughs> we even have some good medicine for it. This is going to be great. He's getting everything ready. Cargo pods, huh? Some Arctic fox... Wow, I butchered that word. Arctic fox skin. That's what I meant to say before I butchered it and said something else that I don't even... Sh I'm not even entirely sure was actual words. Uh, let's haul out this marble chunk and we're going to start putting some wall here. There we go. Just to, you know, build that spot back in. How much marble wall do we have? 750! Sweet! Uh, Cecil Kane has failed in a minor way. What does that mean? He cut his leg. How did you cut his leg? Uh, did we lose the part? We better not have lost the part, man. 
first of all, Cecil... Yeah, 10 to him first. I think we lost the part. Damn it. Okay, good result on that. Good, Poor result on the next one. But he's going to try again. <laughs> uh, okay, there's the medicine. Second time's the charm. Part of the reason he's failing is because of how dirty this room is, but it's too late to clean it. Okay, it's going. It's going. It's going. Major break risk on Cecil. Apparently, this is just making him feel bad. He's hungry. He did it! Oh, he did it! He has a Scyther Blade! Efficiency, 20%. You know, that's better. Seven... No, wait. Why did that lower his... Oh, his movement is lower because of his... Uh... Yeah. I think his efficiency will go back up, though, once his consciousness... Consciousness. Wow, I, I'm having trouble talking today, and I apologize for that. Comes back, though. And he's all patched up. Surgical cut was cleaned up perfectly. Look at that. d right our little android. I don't know how much he liked being turned into that, but uh, he's feeling good. He's still in his honeymoon phase. That's part of the reason. Three more days for that, so uh, their moves are going to be like anyone else's soon. Still, that was amazing. d right is no longer incapable of walking. Manipulation is still 50%. That's strange. I, I would have thought that that would have uh, fixed it. But apparently not. And there's nothing else we could do to his right hand. And it's not like I'm going to install it on his other hand, because that's just going to make him even less effective at that. Oh, well. That's fine. He can still stone cut, even though he's part machine now. I'm sure for... I'm willing to bet that uh, Ferguson is jealous. <laughs> okay, all the animals are now capable of walking. That's good. Uh, hopefully some cleaning will get done soon. Because really, uh, our place is looking like crap. Go ahead and build that in just a little bit more. We need to build a defensive area down here. I'm going to move this. Let's reinstall it. Well, let's build a copy of it so I can see the uh, electricity lines. For now, I'm just going to uninstall it. I'm going to uninstall this one. And then I'm going to build... Let's mine this out. I'm going to build a little fortress structure like we have up here. Hmm. Not exactly sure how I want to do it yet, though. Let's, let's, let's look at this. Let's do this. And then we'll do that just to bury that area there. And have it like this. That way, that this is the area that they should have to walk in. So if we did that... If we did that... We could install this there. We could install this one... Down here? Maybe? Not sure. Let me see. Build copy. Okay, yes, it could fit down there. In fact, we could fit it almost all the way across. But I don't... Hmm. I would want to draw people up here, ideally. Where can I build on the other side? Build to here. Hmm. So let's do this. Build like this. Okay, that'll leave a small area for them to be able to come into. And then I can actually get rid of this thing here. Yeah. We're going to get rid of the conduit underneath as well. We're going to reinstall this. We're going to keep it in the same spot. But we're going to put another one down here. Is that out of the explosion radius? I'm not sure it is. Actually, now that I think of it. Hmm. Alright. You know, we don't have to worry about the explosion radius if we do this. Right here. Yeah. And then we could build another one. 
There we go. Now we can funnel our enemies into this little area here. If they decide to break through it, I mean... <laughs> okay. It'll just take them longer. Actually, I need to move this. Reinstall it. I don't want it right there. I want it to be in a way so that the enemies, when they come in, are pretty much funneled into an area where all of our turrets can shoot at them, and they don't come in until our turrets are going to have maximum line of sight. I guess putting I could put it up here. If I go to build copy, would it be able to fit up here? No, but if I moved this up here, it could. So then we do that. Reinstall this one over here. Like so. Oh, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna completely work either, because this will still be able to shoot down this way. Uh all right, cancel that, cancel this, build, cancel one more, and then we build this way. There we go. That will force them into this area here. Mm. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do this, I'll, if you haven't noticed. So, move this over like that. Nah, one too much. Right there. And then go up here. Like that. That'll force him up here. That should be fine. It's not the most beautiful thing, but it should be okay. Actually, if I do that, I might be safe enough to get rid of these doors. I might be. All right. And you guys can let me know what you think. Which 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 area looks better? Up here with this defense, it it's simpler, but it also is straightforward, or this one which kind of tries to funnel the enemy into a particular area to fight them. Which one do you guys prefer? All right. It's starting to get done, which is good. And I think this will all be powered. I should actually flip this on to make sure. It's not going to happen until tomorrow, but that's not a big deal. We could probably end up putting more turrets up here as well. Ooh, wow. Cargo pods have dropped with some artillery shells. Yeah, we'll take those. And, ooh, yay, an exotic goods trader. This should be good. Exotically good. <laughs> Can't wait to see what they have for us. Uh, I don't know what happened to this tortoise, but we'll take it. Well, the panther probably happened to it. Anyway. I guess there's... Okay, you're setting up shop out here. Whatever, we'll trade with Doc. See what you got for us. What's up, Doc? I see you have a raccoon. I don't really want one. Okay, raccoon, chinchilla, don't really want either of those. We're not selling our bull or our cat or our cow or our husky. Or we could sell a hen, but I don't really want to. Uh, we could get some more neutral mean. I mean, that price isn't too bad. I'm tempted to do it so that we can make more medicine in the future. How much would it cost for all of it? 367. We can't afford it without selling them anything, so we'll keep it in mind while we're looking at what we have. Plasteel, I have 99 of them. I'm not going to sell them. We could sell a Scyther Blade for 845. You know what? We used one, but I think we're okay with only using one. We could get a Power Claw, but I don't want it. Pain Stopper will make it so that you do not feel pain. I wonder what the downside to that is. I feel like there's got to be a downside. There's no way it just removes pain, right? Oh my god, this Persona cord. They have one for sale. But I don't want to buy one. Especially when I just got one. Mm. Triple rocket launcher. These are only one shot, so I don't want to buy them. Elephant tusk? No thanks. Mm. Let's get rid of all of our crappy stuff. All of it. 
all of it goes. Uh, yeah, if it's at 50, it still goes. This is at 60, but it's tribal wear, so I don't want it. Even if it's superior, I don't really want it. 65, uh, yeah, I, yeah I, don't, I don't want the tribal wear. I don't really want it for anything. And, wow, I have a lot of it, too. Right, this armor vest is too, too cruddy. More tribal wear, more cruddy vest. Well, at least I'm making money. Definitely not giving it away now. I do not want your terrible hat, but thank you for thank you for asking. All right, some gold. We have some. We could also buy some. I'm not gonna. We're, we're well. We could sell our normal bed. Yeah, let's do it. We can make better beds at this point. A telescope would be nice. It's for amateur astronomy. It's a hobby, so it would it's a way to increase joy. This is an amazing sleeping box. I don't see why you would ever pay for it. <laughs> or a large sculpture. Or a superior large sculpture, which would cost three thousand bucks. Telescope, I'm I think I'm gonna get this though. Yeah, we can set that somewhere. Thank you for taking our stuff that we didn't want. Let's install this telescope. I assume it does not need power. Let's just put it right here for now. Yeah, we'll put it on the other side. Actually, you know, let's put it out here in the middle of, kind of in the middle of nowhere. There we go. We'll get that installed. I believe it also helps increase your research skill. In the same way that horseshoes, it helps increase your shooting skill. Very, very small amount. But it's better than nothing. You know, you, you can sell a video game on that kind of logic. Let's get some hunting done as well. We have a good amount of meat, but I feel like I could always use more. Will elephants attack if we try to hunt them? No, they won't. Let's hunt some elephants. <laughs> I mean, it's not not really morally the right thing to do anymore, but... You, you know, that's... They, I assume they're plentiful on RimWorld. We are making some stone blocks, which is great. How much steel do we have right now? 658. Yeah, let's just keep doing it. Why not? We have this superior table as well, which we did not... I don't even think we had the option to sell that for some reason. Ah, well. Yeah, we have power to all of these turrets here. I feel, I feel like this is a pretty powerful place, and I want to set up something similar over here, now that I've done that. So, here's what I'm thinking. Let's mine out some more. Actually, let's not. Instead of doing that, let us build right here. All right, we're gonna do that. And then we are going to build some impro improvised turrets here and here, as well as here. Alright, we're gonna have three of them. Hopefully that'll do some good damage. We're gonna power them from the grid. Uh, this is a temporary setup, so I, I'm gonna hope that it doesn't matter too much how it looks. Uh, I just noticed these batteries are full. Let's go ahead and turn them off. Oh, no, no, these are the ones we keep... Yeah, these are the ones we keep off. Alright. This should be good enough to power all three of them. And once that's done, we'll get ready to open this area up. Obviously, we're going to have more people around, and we're going to have some EMP grenades on standby. Just in case... Excuse me, just in case they get out. But I think this will be good. Yeah, look at the way they have to walk through here. Let's get rid of this panther. It's in shock already. The way they have to go through here, it feels good to me. We are set to disassemble mechanoids forever, aren't we? Yes, we are. It's just not getting done. Same thing with making the armor vest. To be fair, I think they're only done by crafting and smithing. I think. Yeah, machining. Okay, yeah. So, Frost is pretty much the only one who does that. And it's kind of really low on the list. I'm going to put it above... Or I'm going to put it equal to tailoring and art and crafting. In fact, he doesn't even really need to do crafting that much anymore. Uh, we have Pepsi doing that. <laughs> and it's not really helping the skill, but it's fine. Oh, that's D-Right. 
What, what am I talking about? Um, yeah, we'll keep it on two for him. We'll keep them all two. I don't know why I thought that was crossed. Um, and he's the only one that's actually good at it. All right, the caravan is leaving. Building is getting done. That's awesome. I think it's going to be next day. We're going to be able to go in there and start doing some real damage. Uh, how are the... How is our hay grass doing? We should be able to actually use it soon. Nice shot, Pepsi. All right, you went to drag them out, and now you're going to butcher them. I'm okay with that. No cleaning is getting done still, which I don't like. But there's a lot of hauling to be done, so I'm not incredibly surprised. There's an escape pod. Let's see. Min. A pop idol. 47 years old. How much you want to bet they're not good at much if they're a pop idol? Incapable of dumb labor, cleaning, hauling, plant work, mining. Beautiful, so everyone's going to like them. Teetotaler won't drink. Great at social, amazing at artistic, but not good at anything else. Like, why would I want that? That's so much she won't do. You're just going to be a drain on our resources. When someone wakes up, we'll have them rescue you, put you in a medical bed, get you healed up, but you're not joining our colony. Not with these awful, awful stats. Uh, personal shield. We can pick it up now, but I guess we're not going to use it. Okay, Pepsi's up. Pepsi is... Pepsi and Ferguson are up because uh, because they're doing something right now. Uh, Ferguson woke up. He's using the telescope, though. That's neat. I haven't actually seen someone use it before. Well, it looks like they're just staring at it. Coolly cool. And does it... Well, he doesn't research anyway, so who cares? Rescue. Do not capture. Rescue. Don't strip them either. You don't have to do that, man. Uh, they just have a bunch of torn up synth thread stuff anyway. Fire, fire, fire. It's raining, so the fire should not be a problem. I am correct, thankfully. Consuming a fine meal. Hmm. Repulsive bedroom. Well, maybe if someone cleaned it every once in a while. Actually, you know what? We can. Can't we lay down carpet? Yes, we can. We can make these bedrooms so much better. Just by doing that, but at the same time, so much construction to be done. All right. Let's stop using fertilized eggs and let them accumulate. I don't think we are accumulating. Oh, no, he's, he's a full-grown rooster now, so we should be accumulating them. Uh, this hen is down because it's hungry, because we still don't have any freaking hay grass. All right, she's no longer incapable of walking. She should leave soon, which is all well and good. Frost is going for a walk. You do what you got to do, man. Hunting an elephant. Hot damn. Couple of tusks. I mean, that's that's a terrible thing to do, but it's a terrible reason to hunt elephants. Let me put it that way. <clears throat> um, we're, we're hunting them because we're going to use all the meat. That's... Slightly better, kind of. Uh, Senpai, you are building... We have one component here, and there's a bunch laying out here. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure of it. The hen is no longer incapable of walking. That's good. Uh, this episode's going a little bit long, but I'm going to keep it going a little bit long because we want to get this taken care of, I think. And I want to see if we can do it. How is our... Do we actually harvest some smoke leaf or not? I don't know if we actually did. Uh, it should be in here if we did. Mm, and I can't tell for sure. I actually can't tell. But I'm going to go ahead and put a bill here. Make, slow, smoke leaf, make smoke leaf joint forever. All right. It is a crafting thing, so it'll be on the same size as the other crafting items. Uh, but it says need materials, so... No, they haven't actually been harvested. Pop Idol's fully healed. She'll probably just leave. Are we out of granite? I know we're not, because we have 840. Or marble, not granite. Major break risk on myself. I'm hauling artillery. Rebuff by Satan. Stop! Dude, she's just not that into you. Good lord, how many times do I have to explain it? ay 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 Too many times, apparently. Another major break risk. Insulted twice. By who? D-Right? Yeah. Hmm. 
unfortunate. It looks like we're going to take another day here. Uh, mainly because the conduits... Conduits, yes, it's like a condiment conduit. Conduits are not done. Alright. Uh, there's some more tusk, so we'll take it. I mean, I might as well not let it go to waste. You can sell it, you can use it, to, you can technically use it as a weapon. What's this, its power here? 16 melee damage. That's actually really good. Ferguson is cooking. That's fine. As are the meals that you're cooking. Ha 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 ha. And now butchering. Good. Elephant's getting butchered. That is a lot of meat. I mean, we've only done one elephant so far out of three, and we have 200 meat. So that's fantastic. Two minor break risk. Minor is not bad. All right. I still want this. I, I know I'm making this one go long, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it once we mine in here, or deconstruct this, actually, and see what horrors lie within. Sapphire, you, you're eating. Now you're building. Cool. Pepsi was doing some more hunting, it looked like. Now Pepsi is eating. All right. That's all done. We have our turrets. We need Pepsi. Stop hunting the elephant. Uh, making armor vest. Oh, that's important, but... Let's get you all over here. Okay. d right, you have the EMP grenades. Which actually means you're very important to us. You're going to hide in this little area here. Sation. You're going to be right here for now. How far can you throw that? Yeah, that's good. Pepsi, you hide up here. I will hide right here. It's a sniper rifle, so it's going to have good range. And then someone needs to de deconstruct this. Senpai, I'm going to make that someone you. Where are you right now? You are actually bringing that in the base? Uh, Ferguson, you're cooking a simple meal. That's not a big deal. You do it. All right. Here we go. As soon as he gets done with this, we'll see what's in there. Okay, it's a it's a hive. Okay. Okay. So hives... This is interesting. Hives make bugs, but they also make royal jelly, or insect jelly, which is actually, for some reason, considered a, an extremely tasty treat. And now they're trying to break out of there. But if our... If our turrets can handle them, this would not be a bad thing. This would actually be fantastic. We could we could literally harvest the hive. Okay, we've deconstructed. And we're shooting. And oh my god! Oh no, no, it was not just a hive. There are a bunch of people hiding in here. Okay. In these crypto sleep caskets. Apparently shooting them once woke them all up. They have psychic condition or addiction. Wow, smoke leaf dependence, crypto sleep sickness, sickness, bionic arm, and crypto sleep sickness. Okay, so this is huge. Uh, D right's gonna be useless here. D right, you uh, just go. There's no mechanoids here. Station could be very useful. I'm gonna let this fight carry out like this first. Are they just standing around now? Okay, they, I don't think they know what's going on, but they're gonna be hostile. So. I need to be ready to fight. Alright. Fighting's going on now. Uh, if... Don't repair the wall. No, no, no. Ignore the wall. Ignore the wall for now, dude. No, station! Oh my god, no! Don't shoot right now. Oh my god, station! You fucked it! You just fucked everything up! Okay, they can, they can still reconnect. So they're not losing power permanently. Like... You guys need to get the hell out of here. You need. You guys need to get the hell away from this area. Um. Shoot. Just run, guys. That's a good throw. That blew up our turret, but it's still a good throw. Um. You know, keep doing that. You're, you're gonna blow up all of our turrets. All of our turrets are gone. But Station is actually in a really good position. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Throw another one. Change your change change your target. Change your target. Are you going melee? I guess you're going melee. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna pay for that. Uh, throw it over here. 
Why are they going melee? Oh boy, that's not good. Uh, melee her. All right. Most of them are down. We're going to move back. Shh, move back. All right. Excellent. All right. I'm going to undraft station. Ferguson. Oh my god, that shot! Oh. So we have one alive out of everyone here. Strip everyone. We're going to harvest all the materials. An assault rifle. Oh man, even with the damage, that's amazing. An incendiary launcher? That's basically basically like a long-range flamethrower, man. Uh, a pistol is terrible. <laughs> wow. But the, uh, the assault rifle, I'm tempted to pick up myself, almost. Um, but I think I'm going to keep the sniper rifle. Lots of gold, which is great, I suppose. An excellent machine pistol. Never mind. Kind of want that. Get the machine pistol. It apparently has an unknown author. A micro-sub machine gun. This weapon bears an artwork of an uncle playing dice with innumerable professors. Four gardeners floats in the distance, while the image somehow expresses both growth and war. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, never mind. Don't pick it up. We'll store it. We might sell it. I don't want it. And this person, Tail, with a supreme pistol. Superior. 27 years old. Great at shooting. Great at artistic bloodlust, which means she loves fighting, but pyromaniac is terrible. She will occasionally start fires. That only happens if they have a break, and it might not be the worst thing. I mean, having her might not be the worst thing. Shunned girl is probably why she's a pyromaniac, but for to have someone who's really, really good at shooting, that might be worth it. Witness death with bloodlust. Oh my gosh. The positive moods coming from that. Go ahead and capture her. Carry them to a crypto sleep casket. That's interesting. So now that I've cleared this out, I technically own the caskets. Oh, whoa, whoa, we're not done. We're not done. I'm totally wrong. Station, get over here. We're going to destroy these. They reproduce in several days. The scarab is dead. Well, it's down. It's going to ble bleed out. We can use the insect meat for kibble. But we're going to get rid of these. I don't... Psychic Animal Pulsar. That's something I don't want to use. I don't feel like... We're going to want to harvest this area. Senpai, what the fuck? What the literal fuck, man? I'm not blaming Seishin for that, man. You jumped right in the way. Dude. Rest it till healed, you... Ay, ay, ay. Get rid of that. Oh, Luciferium? Yeah, we want to get rid of that, too. Go ahead and hit them both. And make sure to tell the Luciferium to go straight to hell. There we go. Alright. And get rid of this Mega Scarab as well. Wow. Good good job. Good job, Station. Alright, undrafted. Maybe we can fix these, but... If we can't, we can just get rid of them. We can't move them around, unfortunately. But, well, we can, actually. We can deconstruct them and then put them somewhere else. Um, but we can use these. If someone gets critically endangered, we can put them in here and it will freeze their status. Like, if they're bleeding out or something, until we have doctors available. Uh, what is forbidden here? In a survival rifle? We'll take it. This is interesting. Psychic Animal Pulsar. It drives all the animals in a region into a man-hunting rage. We want to get rid of that. <laughs> Needless to say. We'll uh, deconstruct all of this tile. Just remove it all. And we'll use this room for something else eventually. Does this room have a roof on it? It does. Okay. That was very good. Again, this was a longer episode than normal, but that was that was exciting. And if you enjoyed it, guys, make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comment section below what you thought of that little stunt. And again, let me know what you think of my uh, defensive positions that are laid out uh, on the outside of our base here. Uh, eventually, we'll need to put some defenses inside because I'm sure that's not the last we've seen of the hive. But, you know, that wasn't that bad for what it was. 
Thank you once again for watching, everybody. If you do want to see more, always subscribe for more. And I, the Fet Man, will see you next time on RimWorld.